Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, today I wanted to speak to you about music and about the typical music that the Lord our God would love to hear. There's a lot of amazing artists and singers and musicians and they're awesome. You know, but basically in, in the congregation in church, there's a specific type of music that the Lord wants to go with the generation that's occurring today in our time. But it has to glorify the name of the Lord. Nothing more, nothing less. And today I wanted to share some scriptures with you. In 2 um, Chronicles 5 verse my back in Psalm 40 verse 3 he puts a new song in my mouth a hymn of praise to our God many will see and their and fear the Lord and put their trust in him you have Ephesians 5 verse 19 addressing one another in psalm in hymns and in spiritual songs singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart in Ezekiel 7 verse 5, it is better for a man to hear the rebuke of the wise than to hear the songs of fool. In Amos 5, Amos 5 verse 23, it says, Take away from me the noise of your songs to the melody of your harps. I will not listen. In his letter to the Colossians, the Apostle Paul reminded the congregation to let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual song, a relationship, a religious song or poem typically of praise to God. When you think of psalm, you'll say exhorting us to sing the words of the scripture and to take them as our pattern. The psalms anticipated the coming of Christ and set a precedent for praising God through music. In Luke 24 verse 44, Jesus said to Psalm, Jesus said that Psalm spoke to him. So when you sing Psalm, the Lord hear you. We have him Paul encouraged the church to claim the music of the culture and sing it to glorify God. Spiritual songs, we are to sing music that is sanctified by for the glory, for God's glory, incorporate praise music that helps us speak truth to one another, teaching, exhorting, and encouraging one another. And this is what basically I had for you as a scriptures that I chose to come behalf and speak to them. Many people, we like to do things in our way and that way and so far. But God have a specific way. He wants things to be done. There's a certain way that the Spirit of God can come out and it can work. That's why today we don't find so much great miracles anymore like the time before because we don't go through the word of God. We praise God and worship God the way we want to give it. You understand? I Basically, okay, I'll give you an example. If I'm going to Club Rolex or Club Coco's or um, Mocha Cafe or a diamond, or a club live, I'm, I'm not going to go in and sing, we worship you, hallelujah, hallelujah, we worship you for who you are, I can't, because I'm not in my section, I'm not in my territory, I'm not in the place where the Lord dwells. I'm not, I'm not, nobody ain't come to hear that. People who go to Club Coco's Club Life, they come to your music that satisfied their thirst. 
their craving, their fleshly body, and and to, and, and these music and music is a very powerful. It's very powerful. Music has a lot of spirits behind it, and I could prove that to you. When I was young, I would listen to Titanic, and I wanted to fall in love. Yes. And when I was in that, when I was older, as I listened to Haitian Copa music, I wanted to have a Haitian man and I wanted to dance freaky with them because that's what the music was telling me. You understand? And when I hear rapping, when I'm on the street, boy, you can't stop me. I feel like I'm the biggest thug in the world. You you better not you better not pull me over because I'm angry. I'm so angry when I'm hearing Rick Ross. I'm hearing Tupac and I'm just feeling like the highest thug. I'm on level. I'm on clouds and that. Ain't, ain't nobody could stop me. You better stop me, boy. You remember the music? I remember I used to always get tickets too. For all the music I used to hear, always getting tickets. Speeding, 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 getting tickets. And I learned. And I say, man, wow. These music do something to you. You cannot keep your feet off that gas when you listen to these type of music. Music, music is a relationship with your body, with your spirit. It it brings out something. It's powerful. That's why you see when you when you're in church, whatever. The, that's the presence of the Lord. That's the spirit of the Lord. So when you worship, you feel something. It's not ordinary. You feel you need the urge to praise more and to worship God because you're in this territory. You're in his territory. You done went to his territory. And I'm begging y'all, please, don't bring Mocha Cafe or Club Rolex or Club Live into the church. Nah, we have to reach out to the world to bring them into our space, into our territory. The world can't pull us and make us come to their territory. Nah, we have to, we have to go get them. You understand what I mean? You interact with, you interact, you love, you, and then you, you, you bring them in. You, bring, you welcome them to Christ. You let them know who Christ is. The Bible says we live by him alone. We speak his word in our mouth. We speak scriptures. That's what God want to hear. And it's very important. I didn't even know how much scriptures were so important until I was reading about music. And we have people just sing songs and don't understand what they're singing. There's no power behind it because the fact that we don't know what we sing. And I used to, I remember when I was young and I used to watch um, Benny Hinn as he would have these soft song. It is well with my soul. As he healed people. And there's many people that probably said he was fake. He wasn't this, he wasn't that. But the word of God, First of all, we cannot judge. Second of all, I saw healing from them people. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And I realized that there's music that precedes the movement of God, that pushes the spirit of God. There is music that pushed the power of God, the anointing of God. I can't come into the church and sing it, Jay-Z. I, I can't. I can't come into the church with Jay-Z in my heart. The Lord said that he wants us to glorify his name. Everything that come out of our name, our mouth, come on. If they say our mouth, our tongue can give life or death, imagine. The Lord's want to hear everything that comes out of our mouth is to glorify his name. And when you're about to speak, and when you, you have to be empowered. You have to understand there are certain things we cannot listen to. Just like when you hear the Mga people, when they hear Gaga, that thing get them. It's a spirit. That thing get them. So you keep that spirit away from your temple. I don't know who I'm speaking to today. Keep that away. God has a way he accepts praise. God say, I'm going to go back to this scripture because this one was real powerful. 
Amos 5 verse 23. Take away from me the noise of your song to the melody of your harps. I will not listen. So everybody who's thinking you playing this song because, oh, I like this song and this is how I want the music to be. You ain't glorifying God. You're glorifying yourself. God has a specific way he wants us to worship. He says psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. That's it. He ain't saying nothing else. In your culture today. Not saying that you have to say. Amazing grace. But he's saying your culture today. That means if you see they like a certain beat. Flow to it in a Christian way. Amen. Amen. That's all to it. In a Christian way. With, the, with, with, with what's going on. That way. That they see that. Just because we're believers. We're not dead. We're alive. We're we feel with spirit, but we do it in the glory. We're, the difference with us and them, everything that come out of our mouth is exalting God, Christ only. If it, in me, for me, in my house, we shall serve the Lord. For me, when people invite me to a party, I'll go because I like to celebrate with people. But for me... There's a certain music I used to hear. I don't hear them no more. No. Because they bring spirits. They bring angry spirits inside your home. They bring the voicing spirit. They bring so much thing. Because they speak to you. The music speaks to you. I used to listen to Titanic and, I, and, Titanic, and I'd be like, man, I need me a romantic man who just 